Alrighty. Character creation. Um, are we doing this? We did we do street level bill for this one? I think we kind of because I'm, yeah. I'm kind of trying to figure out where we're going to be putting him. Um, this is for yeah, it's street level. Uh, street level for both campaigns, and you you decided that you wanted to start all campaigns at street level uh, currently. What's street? Uh, it's very beginning. It's the you are you're just a normal person on the street, a normal vampire on the street. Uh, the campaign that we had previously was at the heroic level. That is that's when things get nigh on apocalyptic. Okay, ah, this is going to be a, a general demonstration. All right, I'm going to be following along on a little calculator dealy. Okay, so, um, character creation. You think you have the same what? The microphone? I think we have the same mic. I wouldn't doubt it. It's pretty popular. We both have it hanging from the top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dude, character creation. Hello. Here we go. Okay. Time for some fancy schmancy die rolling. I think I need a name. Someone who's a gym rat. I don't think Tony should be judging me. <laughs> what? Chad? No, I think I'll do Tony. Oh, God. With an I. Isn't that Tony a girl's name? A... Doesn't have to be. It's going to be Anthony, but he's going to go by. Okay. Mom well. calls him Anthony. Yeah, so we're going to start you off at street level. Uh, are we doing... Well, this is going to be a little bit different because um, which game are you going into? Did we decide on what one we were wanting you to be a part of? Was this for Thursday? You never said anything. I didn't know you had two different games, so I was assuming Thursday. Okay. So the Sunday one right now is every other week because um, it dances around uh, family stuff. The But... In this case, uh, Thursday is every week, obviously. It just runs for two hours. I'm hoping to actually push there's... I want to push the window open so it's like in the middle of the week for longer than that. But most people are usually like, ah, you know, I'm up at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so it's like I can't run it later in the evening most of the time. Um, okay, well, we'll just anticipate that this will be the one for Thursday, which means you're going to kind of get a little bit beef caked up. Because you're not, you're not going to be able to jump in directly at street level if I want you to kind of keep up with everybody. It feels like it would be unfair. So we'll give you little boosts here and there. Okay. That being said, what we want to do or what we want to start with... I'm going to show off our sheet here. Yeah, and it's with that sheet. You see where it says in the top middle here where it's got, like, power level? That is where you're going to wind in street level for what you're doing. I can't. If you're trying to show me something, I cannot see what you're talking about. Just oh, right look at that. Yeah, Our I'm just. Foot. I'm just telling you where it's at. I... <laughs> Magic. Do I get to use cool dice? I have some really cool dice. I haven't been able to use yet. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we know what our street level is going to be. The first thing. Those are cool. Yeah. Why does yeah. everybody have those? Everybody's got a set of those things. Okay. I first... uh, ordered the Dungeons of Drakenheim. I think my buddy Mike has the same thing. Okay. So, for stats, what we're going to want to have you to roll here, that's going to have to be 2d10. We're going to add them together. If you get a 10, it explodes. Does that terminology make sense to you, or do I have to explain it? Yes, I know what's exploding. So 2d10s, am I rolling it as a d100 or 2d10? 2d10, where I would have said d percentile. All right, I have one 10 and one 2. So re-roll the 10. And a 10, 1, and a 2. Okay, so 13. <clears throat> All right, so that gets added to 30. That. And that is, your, that is your total number of points you get to spend on your stats. The only stats you will uh, that you will avoid will be the tolerance, will, and sanity. You don't spend into those because they just piggyback off of everything else that you already have. 43 points. 
Yep, you have 43 points. You'll spend them amongst the intelligence, reflex, tech, cool, magnetism, mobility, body, empathy, and luck. Should I do that now or should I do that? Yep. Yep. Maximum is 10. You probably don't want to have any stat lower than 4. You start to take penalties past uh, underneath 4. So I need to fill in luck and the re- other ones up top, right? Yeah, luck and all the other ones. There's nine, if I'm not mistaken. Three, six. Yeah, nine. Nine stats in total that you're going to spend into. And as a quick catch reference here, we're going to be building a werewolf, to my knowledge. Okay, it's for my sake and everyone else's sake. Empathy is how much you empathize with others, right? Kind of. It's your humanity and sensitivity to the supernatural. It also relates directly to your sanity. Dude, I'm so done with being tired today. Hmm. No. I've been tired all day. It's not like I ain't busy. Oh, yeah? We kicked the shit out of a What's black cool dragon? For? Oh, cool? Sexy. That's how... Yeah, that's... Yeah, I'll tell you some of the stuff I did while he's working his stuff through, but... Um, cool is literally how cool you appear to other people, like, stylish, like, and or... Like, you get that... It's kind of like your intimidation factor, charisma in a sense... But it's basically how badass you appear, but it's also how cool you stay under pressure. What about reflex? Reflex, uh, more or less. Hand-eye coordination, reaction speed, agility. Yeah, she was like a, a, a deformed black dragon or whatever, and my little uh, forest gnome <laughs> had... Nice. Uh, he's got the winged boots, so he can basically run on air for like four oh, he's hours got winged a day. boots now? He's yeah. Got like, you know. Jesus. Yeah, winged boots as a freaking as a freaking gunslinger gnome. Uh, He's also got a something he calls a it's called a doom scatter, but it's basically just a ten gauge double barreled shotgun. Uh, <laughs> that's dumb. Oh, it's that's awesome. So, so dumb. Well, and then some some one of the other characters that was more powerful than the rest of us decided that he was going to be like, oh yeah, I've got this cool animated rope called the rope of climbing, and I'm like, neat. And then so I had it slung on myself. He's like, I'm gonna want that back. I'm like. Well, you'll get it back someday. <laughs> like, <laughs> but uh, it's like over fifty feet of this stuff, and uh, right before the end, like he managed to because it can hold up to three thousand pounds, right? And I was like, oh wow, this rope is pretty strong, and I know that because I was like lugging people around easily with it uh, through this swamp. And when we get to the point where the black dragon's causing some serious trouble, I managed to use my winged boots to come up behind her head sling that rope around her neck and create a freaking garrote. <laughs> yeah. I was choking out a black dragon. How awesome is that? That is pretty cool. Well, and I had perfect leverage, too, because I could just keep going up and up and up and up and up. <laughs> no, that, I, I love hearing the stories of that campaign. It's just so bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> and this is D&D right, we're talking about. Number? Yeah, let's see it. All right. So, if you have any suggestions, uh uh-huh. please tell me. Uh, body of nine. Okay. Flex seven. Mobility four. Intelligence three. Tech three. Full six. Magnetism four. Empty four. And luck three. Cool. All right, interesting that you, uh, you, yeah, that looks pretty, <laughs> your intelligence is three. You're just kind of like, <laughs> starting to look more Chad by the second. Actually, that looks good to me, especially that given is, the fact that we can. Complete Jim Bro roll, yeah. uh, stat distribution. I know I'll arc to lift some good li- heavy weights. Mm-hmm. Being a werewolf on a... top of it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I bench, uh, I bench two semis. How about you? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I was uh, looking at the um, the abilities, and it, uh, the the way you have it grouped by the houses, without going anywhere further into lesser houses, really coincides with the conversation we had today. So that's some good synergy simplifies it too yeah just what i just want to do a side comment because i was yeah you're good i hadn't gotten a chance to re-review 
uh, the archetypal notes. All right. On werewolf powers. So, um, because of the way that your stats rolled out, I have no notes. I think that's fine. <laughs> I think that'll be good. All bronze, no brain as yet, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything terrible because you can always boost this stuff up with freebies. We'll see how that happens later, but skills are next. Um, the way that we calculate our skills is we take the baseline of 40 points and we add your reflex and intelligence to it, which is just 10, so you've got 50 points to spread across. I couldn't hear you. I think you were saying something. Oh, back. That, so that's on the back page, I believe. So that's combat, Correct. general. That's general. page two. So you spend the points and you put them in primary, right? Well, in this case, you're going to put it in ranks. That's the column that you're going to fill your stuff in. Specifically, and I almost forgot, and thank you for reminding me by proxy, um, you can add up to four ranks in any one skill. You cannot go over that at this point. They can be improved later, but it stops at uh, max rank of four for any statistic or any skill that you're uh, putting your points into. What is MA1 and what is heavy? That's martial arts. So you can pick between a like one and two martial arts. You can be an MMA fighter. What's heavy? That's like uh, vehicle weapons, demolitions, shit like that. Oh, utility skills. I'm so glad I figured out how to do this music thing. <laughs> I can't tell you. I can jam out, be talking. Doesn't affect the recording. I don't have to be sued later. Everybody's happy. And what are you rolling through, Bill? I'm just re-reviewing the... I'm looking at the houses of the uh, their powers. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm, re -re I'm re-reviewing them and seeing how that can be interpreted in the lore. Yeah. So as I rewrite the the information on the houses, you know, just, I'm trying to draw inspiration because, you know, the vampire stuff was easy. That came from, like, the conversation, and you could pull it from lore. Yeah, but like werewolf stuff is so not the same. Yeah, no. Right? <laughs> it's like trying to pull stuff like that. Like you, you're not helping me. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I just like so. You know, I'm I'm relying on you know a lot of you know our conversations mm -hmm. and things like that, and like you know games we've played with werewolves and conversations we've had. Oh, yeah, you get the automatic. And then I was thinking more about it, like, for powers, like, because for, like, the supplements, like, in the, the werewolf supplement, then you can explore, truly explore the lesser houses. Mm hmm And cycle. their power subsets. Yeah. Kind of. Cycle riding a bike. <laughs> you guys hear me? Yep, yep. A little bit. I heard something about riding a bike, but... Yeah, is cycle riding a bike? Oh, yeah. No, not a pedal bike. It's like a motorcycle. <laughs> oh. Although you could probably take a regular street bike and make it go as fast as a motorcycle with how much you could power that thing through eventually. Or just break the freaking pedals off. Oh, yeah. By the way, Johnny totally took the skills for cycle, uh, driving, and pilot. I have a feeling he's going for a wheelman type thing? Yeah, wheelman cyborg. What did he? P I'm curious to know what he picked for like all of his stuff. Do you have like a rough summary? No, this is to you. as a point of context again, since we're going to be recording this out. There was another character that was made today that was a cyborg that Bill helped. Uh, Bill helped put together. That's what I'm asking about. Yeah, I'm sending it to you now. Ooh, it's in. So you have it, because yeah. I wanted to send it to you as well, because he's going to need assistance with the usage of the sheet how it integrates with uh gameplay because he's new new i mean he's dabbled but yeah i saw your eyes there uh, all right that's why i got something stupid happened out. was it character info no vehicles where'd you slap all of his augments they're gonna be and archetype. Yeah. Oh, why is that over there? That's weird. <laughs> there they are. He took wealthy. That and um, a rod was beefy to begin with. So I, I heard you. I saw your comment saying uh, wealthy made being a cyborg easier. Yeah. Yeah. 
It helps like a like a lot because I made I I have a, I have a cyborg character and I made him when he was broke. <laughs> like <laughs> nobody. <laughs> we have budget cyborg. <laughs> he went to radio yeah, and you cyborg. feel it. Cyborg. <laughs> oh, and you feel it like he's a Radio Shack cyborg. <laughs> a radio Shack. All right, so I got my skills here. Okay. They might overlap, so you can. If if they do, well, I'll switch them up. But for combat, yeah. I put uh, four in heavy, four in uh, martial arts, and four in melee. Okay. And then uh, utility skills. I got four in basic security, two in demolitions, two in e-security, and four in street line. You said four in Streetwise? Yep. Okay. Excuse me. In the general skills, I put four in acrobatics, two in an appearance, two in athletics, one in authority, one in cycle, one in intimidation, one in legend and occult lore, one in survival, and two in tracking. Cool. That's all 50, huh? Well, that's all 40. Oh, well, it's 50. Got yeah. More I was going to suggest also, yeah, because your intelligence reflects that into it. Um, I was going to suggest you're going to want combat sense because clearly we're playing a combat-based game. Right. So in this in this sense, you're going to want to have that because that's good. And you're also going to want to have some in awareness as well. Those two things Where? seem like the same, but they operate very differently. Right, so I'll put four in awareness, four in combat, okay. and I'll put two in dodge. Four. Four. Two. Now, if having a martial arts and melee are the like overlapping each other, no, yeah. they don't. So okay. martial arts, martial arts is your CQC specialty. Whatever that might be, it gives you certain bonuses to maneuvers you can do, like tripping or disarms and shit like that. Um, the uh, uh, melee, that's like picking up a chair and swinging it around the room and hitting people with it or like throwing your grenades. They have two separate functions. One is caveman hit target. <laughs> the other is... Yeah. What the? Alright, so that is it for that. I'm going to save that currently. Okay, 50 points at the window. That's what's nice about having a solid concept. No run over, so we only have five freebie points. What we're going to want to look at next is your advantages and disadvantages, which I do believe. Where's that at? I'll show you. I'm going to send you just that. Uh, be, uh, nope, nope. I'm in the wrong thing. CRB, PDF. <clears throat> Prepare for download. You should totally record your voice and have it like on a GPS. Turn left here. <laughs> You're what? You're scared? Cereal? Oh. <laughs> here we go. Download incoming. Uh, are you serious? Bonkers. You might have to get kind of technical with this. We'll see. It's too big. It won't let me send it. So, link inbound with the advantages disadvantages. Okay. It looks like it's right there. Or is that a link to your... Drive. That's a link. That's my link. That's a link to OneDrive that I'm sharing with you. Our services aren't available right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me reload to see if that fits. <laughs> Hooray for that I level, had, stupid! I, okay. I had something happen to me in Discord I'd never seen, or I posted something that was well within the prescribed script, and it went all red. It says. We'll have to think about adding this. I'm like, well, what's there to think about? You either can or you cannot. <laughs> Probably should bring up and port over that. Uh, this is uh, downloading, so I can read it. Oh, I gotta go help with some cereal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dude, this. Port over some of that conversation we had this morning, so I have it on paper, and I don't have to track it down again. The uh, cyborg that you made there looks pretty good. I was a little vague with some of the descriptions, I think. 
Yeah, so I mean, I if you need to make corrections, make corrections. Like, I seriously, I've never rolled that fucking good for like, like, begin for like a stat roll. Like, two tens, like, D, can I use this? Please, please, don't deny me this beautiful roll that I wish to bless to this new player. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was fine. <laughs> I just thought, oh. and then he, and then he just did his rolls. I'm like, what? Well, we just we got two tens. Just add that shit. Good God, this dude just added on tack, 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 tack. Oh, he's a gluttonous bastard. Well, yeah, it's like psychological thing. So, like, because of like the 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 neurochems, because mm -hmm. he because of Lyme disease, he's has that autoimmunity to combat mm. it he uses the the uh the nano factory right so he has to has to do that so he has addiction because he has to do it to maintain like the autoimmunity disorder that's weakened him significantly over the years so he has that so it's kind of like this interplay between cybernetics his autoimmunity disorder and uh, and these type of things. So it's it's the build twist of things. Yeah, so. no, that's great. It looks awesome. Like you guys went through and did the... I'm certain that he took your advice and spammed all of the possible advantages and disadvantages he could get his hands on. No, so that's I, kind of your I, sweet spot. I pretty much made the character character for him. Because he just... I don't think he was... Same diff. Comfortable. So we... I drew out the conversation from him and from that conversation was able to create this. So I took teases out and everything else. I took pieces of his own life because um, he's dealt with stuff like that. Um, so this is like a kind of like a first character, which is a reflection of the human being. Well, and the other thing, too, is that classes and those where it says, you know, like arm three, arm three, leg three, leg three, all that, um, those have significance. That's what I'm piggybacking off of things like quick hackers who can try and uh, do like an interface injection and take like short out your cybernetics or cause temporary yeah. overload and shit like that. It's like, can they, I mean, is this like, is there a counter at all this? Can someone hack me? I'm like, yeah, someone can hack you. And he's like, okay that's cool so yep. he's gonna he's uh uh giant's gonna need gonna need some good support in the beginning that's kind of cool you can make a puppet out of a cyborg yeah mm -hmm. well if you had the right stuff going on because like i said you can do like overload overheat you can cause the lockdown shut down do other kinds of weird Is that stuff a Witcher shirt? huh no it's uh Are you wearing Overwatch. a Witcher shirt Oh, yeah, it it's Overwatch. Like a little bit. Yeah, it looks similar to it, doesn't it? It'd be really cool to have a Techno Witcher. How's that download coming? Uh, it said it was going to be six minutes, and it still says six minutes, although it's more than halfway done. Isn't that great? Technology. Okay, pulling that information... Oh my god, you're gonna make me type it. I hate this shit. I hate porting <laughs> like like copy paste from like Discord to like Word. Because yeah. Because I can never I can never figure out exactly what key commands I need to make this look normal. <laughs> oh, I just <laughs> that was dumb. I had to make the text black to make it white. <laughs> I don't want Noto Sans, I want Obo Sans. Good God, why not they just keep it consistent? Why don't they have things normal? <laughs> why can't you be normal? <laughs> Night vision. Yeah, you got it, I think. Cat like balance. Well, then you go copy Sissy. Oh, jeez. Right, now it's just oh. three minutes. No, wait, four minutes. Oh, two minutes. <laughs> gotta love all this you got a lot of people on the network right now that's why oh nice yeah I wonder why he segregated that dude he's got a body of 10 and a reflex of 11 as a cyborg that's hot still talking about the other dude <laughs> mm -hmm. 
That's freaking nice. Yeah, it's just going to be a matter of just familiarity. That's what ultimately it comes down to. And just getting used to systems. I mean, this, our understandings are always all different. Oh my god, that didn't come out right either. <laughs> yeah, it's going to make me write this manually. Okay. Oh, now it's just three minutes. Four Delicious. Minutes. <laughs> Six minutes. Seven. Nine. Eleven. Oh, Jesus. Twenty-three. Forty-five. <laughs> Dude, it's not even that big. No, and it's already at like 48 of 52 done. Now it's going back down. Yeah, like the whole file is like a little over a, uh, like a couple of My minutes. internet's not the greatest. Ugh. Sacrifice a lot. For, um... <laughs> now it's at 10 seconds. All right, he's done. All right, I have it down. Cool. This is where we get to think about like the meat of the character in and of itself. Now, um, is there specifically anything you need to know about Light City as a whole, or the general generality? Sure. And by generality, I mean I. It, I, I mean, when I think Night City, it's I think twenty seventy seven. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's got those elements to it. This is cyberpunk. You can't escape that. So there's a lot of stuff that's right. very similar to that. Because, um, like I said, this is all inspired and by... And then I also like, think White Wolf 2, based on other things. Probably. I mean, like, this is... I'm just taking the genres themselves and, like, throwing it together. But, right. I mean, the the critical differences between what I've got going on and anything else is that the the size of the urban expanse that you're involved in is huge thousands upon thousands upon thousands of miles you know in m multiple directions it's a um huge portion of the US on the the, the entire eastern seaboard in fact go back. cyber allergy what the heck mm. sounds like a good disadvantage yeah you can't get cybernetics if you take that but that's like and the whole werewolf, werewolf nice city Werewolves have an inherent cyber allergy to begin yeah, with. Yeah, they already have it, so you can't take it because you already... Yeah. You technically can't get cybernetics. Your body would reject it. I was, yeah. was going to say, they have, how would you be able to transform the mechanical arm? Mm -hmm. or, or the fact that it competes with the regenerative speed. So I guess I can't take that one. So that <laughs> one, you cybernetics anyway. Always be closing with the... So what? I'm just picking uh, disadvantages. And... So, Touch. The, way this, or, the way it works, is you have start with. you've got five points to begin with because you're street level, right? You can buy advantages with those points. Some advantages are multi rank, meaning you can buy them more than once and they stack their their benefits. Um, and or you can get disadvantages, which instead of costing you points, will give you points. So if you take a disadvantage, you get whatever points they say the cost is worth, right? So if you take a three-point disadvantage, that means you get three added to your five that you currently have, right? Then you just spend it backwards and forwards until you kind of balance things out. Now, what's important to note is that as a werewolf, you might want to have extra because you might want to have powers from your house that you're related to that you want to purchase or upgrade because you have some innate... You have innate abilities that are already there. The character sheet will show it in the top left corner on that page that has the werewolf in it. Right. Does supernatural gain two body essence versus disease? You need a poison, three regeneration, one HL per round. I don't know what that what the HL stands so, for. So HL means health level, because if you go to the very very beginning of the sheet, you'll have health level sort of bottom center. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. So what we do with what we do with hit points is that we basically box them into levels. So if you had like 50 hp it would be boxed into 10 health levels um but you can also boost with your freebie points your current stats to above 10 and then they get boosts whenever you're a werewolf as well and like i said we haven't written in the health levels because we don't know what your 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 final body is going to be because your health levels are based off of your human body which at this point is a nine Right, which means you've got nine H HLs of five. 
at the present moment, but that could change, like I said. You could end up boosting it higher than that. But it depends on how many freebie points you have left over and what you want to spend. Everything on the sheet except for... Huh? We're talking about... Those are freebie points we're talking about, right? The disadvantage. Yes. Freebies. Yep. You have a, you have right, five so freebie I'm, points right now. I'm going to be a fanatic to the house or cause. <laughs> All right. I think that's what I was basically going for. Or that would fit right into that. Sounds like a plan to me. I am for this. So I, I write fanatic and disadvantage and just write, and I write three. This he has it. So or it's on your ta table. You write three where the rank is, or if you write one. Disadvantage is where you. Okay. So for the disadvantage, you write down the name. Rank is just going to be one. And then in the description, you can just say how many points it gives you. Like, I don't know how. What's the, what's the fanatic give you in terms of. Uh, three points. Okay, yeah. You just say three points. And then you can just do a short description of what you're fanatical about, just so you know what it's for. Put in house ideal, I think, is the hunt or the wolf thing. Um, I think I'm going to do bully. <sighs> this dude's going to be fucking hardcore. So, what is there a penalty to overeating? There's several, most of which don't actually hit till you're older, but... There's, like, lethargy and stuff like that. Why? This is sound like half anathema to me. Yeah, it's starting Same. to get there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but... I was thinking of... Giant looks like a pretty good one. <laughs> You're basically... Yeah, you get a plus Jeez, two to body, which is, like, cool, but then you get, like, minus three to all stealth checks, and there's a 20% chance that when uh, taking cover, you'll be exposed and are susceptible to gunfire. So I basically have to roll on that and be like... You take bullets! <laughs> Congratulations, you just made a Giga Chad, uh... <laughs> Dude, he's like Andre the Giant if he were an asshole at this point. Andre the Giant was an asshole. <laughs> Andre the Giant actually was pretty cool, but... but... Until you pissed him off, and then he was a spectacular asshole. Keyword, uh, spectacular. I'm guessing you took Giant? I did. Of course he did. <laughs> oh, that's going to be interesting. See, my character concept is, I'm thinking, so the reason, on the weapons, I chose basically nothing that required any skill or weapons because I was strictly focusing on hand-to-hand -hand basic combat. This is somebody who's going to literally run in to things. That's Think. exactly what you're building. 100%. Hold it on <laughs> Smash faces. Uh, I would, uh, I would say you're probably gonna want to invest in some stuff that's gonna make it a little bit less difficult on you in terms of death. Uh, like you know, hard to kill, thick skull, shit like that. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to build up a couple. Like, yeah, well, I mean, at this point, you're sitting at 13 freebie points available based on what I heard you say. So yeah, eight plus the five. Oh wow. That would really make it. I don't know. Out of character, people might not like that. But <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need to read that book again. Where are you? If I'm gonna be exploring scapegoatism and cultural guilt, where are you? It's no, I have it in here. I'd be very upset if I can't find this book. You said combat sense and awareness are important. Yep. I need to reorganize my bookshelf. Uh, man, I guess I always have Scott or Drew send me a book again. Yeah, that upsets me. I can't find it. Oh well. Okay, so did you just pick Fanatic, Bully, Giant, Danger Magnet? Yep. Okay. God damn, this is huge. So your character is probably going to be somewhere between 8 and 9 feet tall, just on the average, because of the gigantism. And then when he transforms? Well, when he transforms, <laughs> he kind of gets a little bit like a foot or more. You know? So, yeah. It's... He's literally like a were-ogrin. Just think uh, the whole werewolf without green skin. <laughs> yeah, just covered in fur and some secret basement person's favorite wet dream. Big skull. That'd probably be a yeah. 
Yeah, that's no longer. It's actually turned into a milestone. It's the only correction for these sheets okay. that you're looking at now. Like, holy cow, that's must be like some. These must be something you might pick up during campaign too. You can do that too. Yes, advantages are possible to pick up while using IP to get it. So what is? Well, actually, it's called a tag. That's a trusted, authorized gateway. <laughs> Let's see what you did there. Yeah, so if you're if you're tagless, because again, this, some of the stuff is a little outdated from behind work. Because like I said, I'm pulling from because the mechanics are the same, but the name would be tagless. So it would mean that you actually you have either you have false tags with your you have you have a false tag with your name and stuff in it, which redirects authorities in the other direction. You still have access to certain things, but you're not you're not targeted. You don't have an official tag with real data attached to it. It allows you to hide from the authority. Is that a good thing? Yeah, if you want to stay under radar and do lots of techie shit. Mm -hmm. So probably not as beneficial for me. Probably not. If you you might also have tagless if you're like not into tech at all, meaning that you just have a very small link, for, like uh, footprint in the link, like you're barely audible, like you don't hang out online, you don't do a lot of crap, you're just in the real world most of the time. That's also a, a decent tagless because it makes it harder for you to be tracked. Are you doing thick skin? Yeah. Cool. I'm just trying to think how many <laughs> supernatural things are uh, regularly regular. What's that? Uh, that's all I need. Supernatural. Is it a regular? Uh, I didn't hear what you're talking about in terms of occurrence. Oh, uh, supernatural, supernatural things. How often do those things come around? Uh, they're all over the place. It really depends on what you're doing. Uh, did you end up taking more ranks of thick skin besides the first? I hadn't decided yet. Okay. I was thinking about doing true faith. Everybody loves true faith. <laughs> There's a part of me that thinks that maybe true faith should wind up as a milestone. Something that humans get in specific. I kind of agree with you on that one. It's really OP. Yeah, it's super powerful. It's the I, cost. Is, the cost makes sense, but everybody gets like looks at True Faith and goes like, "I want that one!" Like it's like Jesus. You're like you don't want to deal with uh, supernatural things. Well, you just you know it's it's one of those things where it's like it it definitely because like again there's a bit of a reduction here. So True Faith is activated aura. Yeah, it's a five foot, not ten foot radius, um, and. Anything that is, that what is also, but what is still true is that you're immune to supernatural attacks that directly affect you. Meaning, like if somebody tries to use like mind control, they can't do it. They can't get in your head. If they try to do something like compel you with telekinetics, they can't do that either. But specifically from supernatural sources, psychics are not that. Supernatural and magical. I think I'll do two ranks in the thick skin. Okay. Spirit guide. Oh my god. So that's interesting that's character. Yeah. yeah. It's a really interesting werewolf. Um, yeah. Advantages and disadvantages is basically where Bill and I both see the character really come to life. Yeah, it's the it's the core personality. Because I mean, that's the thing is it and both he and I have different methodologies too. Like when I start off a character, I start off here. And I create an equal balance and then I develop a personality. And then I roll stats, but I think I, I, I think the best methodology for new players is ultimately to roll and then go from there. All right, and then I'm gonna keep the, th I'm gonna keep three points for house stuff. You'll want to have two more. You powers are gonna cost five. So if oh, you take another two, two more? yeah, if you want to do two, more, if you want to do another two pointer disadvantage, that would be fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, Berserker. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, sure. Oh, my God. Two points. Oh, even worse. And when something truly pisses you off, watch out. Plus three at all combat actions while berserked out. But you get a minus three for any cool checks for the duration. Like, you just, you suck at doing cool stuff. Yeah. You can't... If you choose, if you choose anything other than the House of Evil Spirits, I'm going to be very disappointed in you. <laughs> He's fucking House of the Anathema straight on, man. Yeah. Why do we settle on Anathema versus uh, Evil Spirits? I don't remember why, but the House of the, because the Anathema is literally the anti whatever they were. They're 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 Anathema to werewolves because okay. they 
to what werewolves are supposed to be. Okay. I I had it retooled in my head differently within my notes, so I couldn't remember what conversation we had on that one. one two. So I'll make the adjustment. Because I think I have, because I tooled them as the House of the Evil Spirits because of the uh, translation, the bit of the Kazur. Azul. I can do. I can do an Atha. Let me go to my notes. Oh my god. Got that. So I got five yep. points here for. Okay. Okay. Wow. Jesus Christ. All right. So up your body by two because you're a giant. Eleven. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna. I don't know. Was it, is it just a straight? I was gonna. I was gonna like parentheses it to explain it away, but unless there's a reason for me to keep the original score, I'm not going to. no. It's like so. Here's the thing: is that you have this is just uh, for your human side. The first sheet, it's an eleven. Yep. You have an eleven body. Okay. We'll get into your form stuff here in a sec. I'm sorry. You are making a monstrous character. You're truly. Just monsters. No. Yeah, he's, he's making a monster character, that is for damn sure. Werewolves are kind of monstrous. Body reflex. They have that well, monstrous that's... side. Oh, no, man. There's, there's, there's monsters. Do you think that a rod is going to show up and try to show this young buck what the fuck the whole show's really about? Oh, like... he's, probably gonna, he's probably just going to identify him like House of the... He's going to like, no, you're, uh, you're one of the soulless. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's what the House of... That's what the... That's Oops. what the Benta Itzkrozul are. You know, they're the they're the ones who started all this bullshit with the houses. Well, what I've read that you guys shared with me, I was looking a different direction. Which direction were we going? I was looking at... Oh, let me look in the Discord. Okay, I've got the stuff up right here. I've got the House of Dust and Ash, which is the... Um, that's what I was. I think that's the one I was looking at. So they're the they're kind of like the peaceborn, and when we refer them as peaceborn, it's because they're natural born werewolves. So they come from werewolf bloodlines directly. And the house of the heavenly moon are the warborn. Those are the ones that come from bites. And then you have the house of anathema, which comes from the betrayers, because what you have is the house of the house of dust and ash. They they were the ones who were kind of the the courtiers, the the, the really high high court nobles, and they were tricked by the soulless one, who was the second son of the wolf father and the wolf mother, and the warborn, the house of the heavenly moon, were tricked into inaction. Father wolf was killed. Mother wolf cursed all the children all because the actions of soulless one who is the founder of the house of anathema so i was the thing i was going was was a middle-aged preppy follower of the dire wolf you might be you might actually soulless. uh so what you might end up doing is like feeding off of house of the anathema just unconsciously and not being a part of any of the major houses. You're probably part of a sub-house. You might have been warborn even. Were you born a werewolf, or was that something you got bit and turned into? I want to be born. Oh, okay. Got to put the kids to bed. It's 9 o'clock. Woo! <laughs> All right. See you in a minute. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't catch that, but you looked really excited. He said he's got kids. He's got to take care of it. It's 9 o'clock. They have to go to bed. Oh, yeah. Saturday night, so I never put my... I let my kids stay up as long as they want. <laughs> I don't care. 8 o'clock on the weekdays. Yeah. Where they pass out on the weekend. <laughs> Unless I go to bed and one of them still wake up, like, okay, let's go to bed. So, yeah, I was kind of like, he would be kind of an outcast or a black sheep. He broke some clan rules or whatever, but he wants to, like, penance for it. So, he, like, literally goes and hunts. He wants yep. to be someone to hunt the Athema characters, basically. Okay. So, yeah, that, that'll feed into your fanaticism, because fanaticism doesn't mean that you, like, hate the good guys. You could be fanatical about that exact that exact mission, about trying to regain your status amongst your own uh, pack. Right. 
So that's perfectly fine. That is a character-driven point. Uh, obviously, with the other disadvantages, you're you're kind of landing in the kind of <laughs> sort of gigantor asshole field, but that is to be expected, given the fact that you did kind of go against them in the first place, so you're kind of hard to deal with. That makes total sense to me. Um, it's kind of almost like a, 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 he's in his mind's eye, he's thinking well, in, in a roundabout way, it's kind of like he ended up like fighting fire with fires in one way. Yeah. So he's like, you know what, I... I make questionable choices already, and I'm making these two, these more questionable choices to accomplish what I want to get done. And I want to punish those people. And like I wrote in there, I don't know how well it works into it, but I was like married to a human woman, had a half free child, and they're both killed. And they were all both killed by forsaken or assaulted. So it drives this his, his driving force for his bad decisions. Yikes. Well, just saw something else on that sheet that I just went, oh, that's there. I want to check something. <laughs> Got to make sure this is true. Okay. So here's the rounding out of the sheet that we need to have put in there. Okay. So what's yeah. next? Okay. So let's go to the front sheet. We'll just start filling in all the gaps because there's a bunch of stuff in there that uh, has not been written in yet. One? Yep, first sheet. All right, so... Uh, body. Uh, so this part won't change much because we're going to be putting in the modified form on the werewolf sheet, but this is going to be when you're just kind of looking at the stuff. Now, you can mark this in here any way you like um, to make it a little bit easier on yourself for quick reference. But uh, the body that you have uh, is 11, Right? Was that a yes? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you thought you heard me. Sorry. No, I didn't hear nothing. Okay, so it's an 11. Okay, that gives you a... Uh, the the bonus is going to be a plus four. Your Hold reflex on bonus... I'm my mic... My mic... It might be that turned down. I never fix it when I turn my computer back on. Maybe so, turning it up just to let you know. Woo. Yeah. How are you doing that? Uh, In my sound settings. In my yeah. system sound, like literally the computer sound. Oh, we have gotcha. The same mic, so maybe you might have the same issues. Every time I restart my computer, it always defaults it down to fifty. We're wild, yeah. No, that made a huge distance when, difference when you turned it up. Because Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's why I did it slowly, so I didn't hurt your ears. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's good. Okay. Next, are you ready for your reflex? Yeah. Okay, Reflex now has, because you have a Reflex 7, that's a plus 1. All right. You have a Mobility of 4, which is 0 for the bonus. Okay. You have an Intelligence of 3, which is a minus 1. I assume that all 3s are minus 1? Yep. So Tech would be minus 1. The yep. uh, Luck doesn't operate the same, obviously. No, it does not. It's a currency as opposed to a full-blown stat like these are. And then your Empathy is a 4, which is a 0. What about coolness? Cool is also a zero. Four, five, and six are all zeros. All right, and then you have a tolerance of one. What's that based off of? That's for arcanists and stuff like that when they cast magic. But it's good to have because you can might bridge into magic at some point, depending. You never know. It's good to just have it in there. Right. Uh, you have a four will. And a sanity of 40%. Is that standard? Uh, for a 4 empathy, yes. Because oh, okay. it's your empathy it's times 10. Times yeah. Okay. All right. Health levels. We'll look at that next. You have all 10 health levels. Uh, and they are at six each, so you just write a six at the big part of the box there, just six all the way across for all of them. Okay, so what do I do? Write a six where it says health levels, or write ten yeah, where so it says where health it's, levels? It's going to be, so you see underneath active, in that little box, in the bigger box just above the number, you just write six, and you do that for all of them. Okay. Okay, health levels is ten. 
Total HP, 60. Okay. Okay. Now, this is where it gets kind of nuts. Your natural armor is 18. So to the right under the defense category, it has a column that says nat. You just put an 18 in each one of those going down under the nat column. Which means okay. you don't need to worry about wearing much armor, like, ever. That's good. The thick hair that grows off my chest that protects me. Oh, this is whenever you're human. You could be buck naked and have the same thing. See, that's the thing. It's that this is natural armor. You resist kinetic damage. I was thinking about my appearance. I was just basically, I was going to be like, I'm not wearing any clothes. I'm like that super hairy guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, right. Absolutely. Everywhere and over the back. Gold chain. Like, wire. Gold chains. Gotta have gold chains. Gold chains. Not, yeah. not silver. Gold chains. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, going up in towards the center where it says combat skills. Okay. Uh, we have... So, look for heavy. That's a 15. And you'd like, okay. so you can kind of do this any way you want to make it a little bit more easy for yourself because your forms will modify these, but you'll have a reference for this. Um, and when you're in your other form, your heavy when you're in werewolf form is 19. So however you want to put that. Jesus. Yeah. Actually, wouldn't, um, wouldn't the natural be 20 since I did two rinks and uh, thick skin? For heavy? For the no, for the natural, I was just doing the. I just do it. It was looking at the paper and look at the math. Body plus five is sixteen. Yeah, you're right. It would be twenty going down. Yeah. I miscalculated in my head because I only did one brink. Good call. He's basically wearing medium armor, even though he's just himself. <laughs> Might have to no, modify maybe. that. <laughs> Yeah, so as I was putting the kids to bed, I was thinking about that, is none of the werewolves really can identify with the houses. They just kind of drift. They kind of lean towards one or the other because they don't even know who they are. Yeah. And it's in the supplement of material that we kind of hammer home. Yeah, they know who they are. Yeah. And then you can identify houses, lesser houses, skills based off okay gotcha okay i'm with you mm -hmm. well anyway um but yeah the amount moments yeah you're good i mean but that the uh, fucking natural armor man is r ridiculous um so what were you saying about the heavy you said 15 first but then you mentioned something else yeah when you're in werewolf form it's 19 all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take that square and split it two to make two triangles and just have 15 on one yeah. side and 19 on the other yeah, that's what most people do. You will have the same split for melee. What was his health levels again? They were six. Each, tenfold. Oh, okay, but his natural armor is like 19. 20. His natural armor is 20. 20. Yeah, a rods is 14. <laughs> Good God. Well, um, proves that, it proves that each, uh, each class has uh, different types of personalities. Yeah. All right. So your MA1 is also 15 human, 19 in werewolf. Who's a, what were you talking about, Bill? Is that another werewolf or is that a different? That's my, it's my, it's the other werewolf that we've got going on. And I'm just thinking about it. Says, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There, it's, it's personalities. I was always wondering if we, how, how we're going to create personalities within the werewolf based off statistics of them being so beefy. And I just got my answer. So thank you. Oh, okay. I was when you were doing your thing, I was I was talking with uh Deke about the, his his personality, his drive and what makes him make his poor choices. Hmm. Uh combat sense is ten in human form, but it is thirteen in werewolf. All right, and your dodge 
is nine in human form. Fourteen when you're a werewolf. Okay. Let me make... I'm... Uh, let's see here. Uh, I know that there are certain things that I put in there. Where are they? So... Did you add the berserker to all the combat actions? That's something that's contextual, so I didn't add it to everything else. Oh, okay. As far as as far as it goes, you're not always in berserker mode. You could be in a fight without having okay. that added. So if you go berserk, okay. then those that you add three to your to your attacks, your dodge, all that shit. Okay, that's good. To, good to know. I'll more snipe this. But uh. <laughs> The way that I got it set up right now, I'm sitting around like, like yeah, that. werewolves are not very street level even when I try. <laughs> I think I'll let, for in, for the context of Berserk, I think, uh, on a personal note, I'll let um, kind of you decide at what point does my character Berserk, like what is, like whatever's happening, I think I'll let you decide on that part. Okay. I... Not only that is it probably makes it more balanced anyways. We can do it as a trigger too. I mean, what's your part, character's primary drives? Lost family, right? So right, yeah. someone hurts someone hurts a child. So you can put that under berserk. Someone hurts a child. Go yeah, and you could be a you could be a bully naturally to assholes. Nobody says that being a bully to Nice guy. It doesn't mean classic right. bully in the sense that, you know, you have to go up and pick on the small kid. It just means that if you don't like somebody, you're a royal shithead to him. Yeah, Andre the Giant. Like, yeah. he didn't like somebody. He was a glorious asshole. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, like, so like put that under bully, like, Andre the Giant, right? Or, you know, something like bully to this person. Or berserk when this happens and you can put those conditions based off of your past what drove drives you to hunt what you hunt those things make you berserk seeing this seeing this enemy type hurt anybody makes okay. you go berserk yep okay let's go to your skills real quick to fill those in these are kind of static i can give you the yeah. same twofer like split for them if you want because like i said there are going to be certain things that change yeah that that would be nice okay so the only thing about playing werewolves is kind of a pain in the ass it's like you're playing on double sheets it's kind of <laughs> um okay so primary i'm gonna go down in order here these should be the same let's start with your general skills your primary okay going from what you have already your acrobatics is seven for your primary or like the what's it say on here i gotta right. see what you see yeah primary uh-huh anything that you see that hand on that's all reflex so you could basically oh. split those put seven in all those yeah anything with a hand in the primary category is a is a seven that you have ranks in is it also in synergy or seven or no? No, synergy is a bonus, and it usually uses another stat to add with. They're not the same. Okay, so I won't. So I only put seven where I have ranks in it, then. Yeah. So I think the only one I have is or acrobatics. I think. It has the no cycle and acrobatics. Yeah, I was gonna say there's more than that. And then there's also there's the. The combat skills are that way too. Yep. You getting it? The only one that's reflex based and utility skills is basic security. Yep, I did do that one. So I've got best. So I think I've got all the ones I've ha that has the hand with the okay. on it. Okay. Okay, that's the first. That's the first one, right? Um, okay. And if you're in werewolf form for all of your reflex skills. That jumps up to 10. So it's 710 for any reflex primary skill. All right. I got that. Didn't I? Okay. Let's do for the next set of primaries. I believe you only have one primary skill with body, and that would be athletics. Yep. 
That would be 11. Black yeah. 15. Yep. You're getting it. <laughs> I think that's the only one that actually has body on it. Yeah. Yeah. It's very rare to have body as part of a primary skill. Um, okay. The next is going to be anything with mobility as the primary Which stat. Is, that is... That's the leg. What's that one look like? That's the leg. Looks like a leg I running. Don't see any of them? With a primary? No, I don't do you either. Have that? I yeah, do not believe so. Yeah, not as primary. Intelligence is the brain, right? Yep. That does not have any changes to it. Um, that just goes straight. A three? Yeah. That's just three for the primaries. Anything with intelligence? Yep. All right. Now, uh, the only other skill, the only other primary skills that you would actually, or primary statted skills that have cool, yeah, cool. That's, a, that's uh, the sunglasses, and that has a split. Right, that's going to be what? That's going to be uh, eight. Six and eight. It's gonna, well, it's going to be eight and ten, because I have oh, your eight, cool eight. as eight. No, my cool is six. Is it? Okay, Unless I'll fix it. Up. Nope. Unless... Oh, I know why. Sorry, I was looking at the form one. You're good. Yes, it is six. So it's six and eight. Okay. That's the split. Appearance is going to be... Oh, no, that's not it. Uh, authority. Six and yeah. eight. Intimidation. Six and eight. Survival. Six and eight. That's every skill, I think. Almost What's anything empathy. That's tech. Oh, okay. Yeah, empathy does not have a core stat anywhere except for human perception, which I don't think you took. And art. <laughs> art and human perception. I don't think you took either of those. Nope, I didn't take either of those. Look, yeah. maybe, maybe Tony likes impressionist paintings. Maybe Tony likes to replicate Monet. I'm just saying. <laughs> With blood. You shouldn't judge. Alright. I do have appearance, so that's magnetism, right? Yeah. That little iconography helps, doesn't it? Yeah. You need a new band-aid? Yeah. Your other one's yucky. Okay, I'll get you a new one. Okay, and then as far as the secondary goes, I can just give you the list of secondaries instead of having you do to flip back and forth. Secondaries? What do you mean? Meaning the synergy oh, bonus. Oh, okay. You give me a few minutes, I'll get you a band-aid, okay? <laughs> All right, so synergy, okay. right? Yeah, the so synergy bonuses, at? starting with general skills at the acrobatics, your synergy bonus would be four for acrobatics, okay. zero for appearance, and it's going to be one for athletics. So is this just the bonus side? These are, bo these are the bonuses of the associated synergy, uh, like the, uh, the actual synergy stats, right? But if you notice right. that they're different from the primary. Because it's got a different icon. Yeah. Uh, uh, authority and awareness are both zero for synergy bonus. Your cycle is minus one. <laughs> okay. I like to live dangerous. Yeah. Um, and then you have zero for intimidation, legend lore, occult lore, and survival, and tracking. So all of those skills are zeroed out on the synergy side. Yeah. Okay, and then combat skills. When you're ready. Okay. Yep. Combat sense is a minus one in the synergies. Um, dodge is zero. Heavy is four. Martial arts is four. And melee is four. Mm -hmm. Good, I'm on character. That's going to make me nervous. Uh, okay, so... 
that handles the combat skills, and then as far as your utility skills. Basic security. One. Yep, and then the rest are zero. All right. Cool. And then you just add them across to the left, and you should have your totals. Oh, streetwise. I didn't do streetwise. So it should be three and zero. Yeah. And you add them together. So seven, five, five. And in 13. This is going to be 10 and 13 for combat wise. Mm hmm. 9 and 12 for dodge. Heavy is 15, 18. Martial arts, 15, 18 for melee. Uh, we got 15, 18 for acrobatics. You might want to, yeah, if you add that across, can you check those skills that I gave you at the start? Because I think maybe my sheet is adding the bonuses together and I didn't want them to for the werewolf I mean, form. So your skills, like for instance, what's your heavy with uh, werewolf based on what you just wrote in? 15, 18. Okay, so you'll have to correct that on the front because it says uh, 15, 19. Yeah, it, it added the bonus. It's not supposed to do that. So 1518 is uh, – what I mean by bonus in this case is that my sheet added the, the increase in bonus based on the – because it's all automated. And it's like, whoops. Right. That's not so that the way the system works. Sense should be – okay, comment sense is correct. Dodge 912, not 914. Yeah. Unless there's a specific dodge bonus. No, the there's not. Like I said, it was just my automated sheet from a while ago that hasn't been updated, doing adding the bonuses together when it shouldn't for your werewolf. Because the the way the system works is that your core stat will jump, nothing else will. Right. Because it's not it's not your real you. It's not that. The real you sits with the synergy side of it, and it those you know so because even if you get knocked out or incapacitated, you go back to a human form. Right. Authority is seven nine. I don't know if that's good or not. It's not bad. Seven awareness. Uh, seven. And for cycle, I'm a better motorcycler when I'm in the werewolf. That is seven, hysterical, because now all I can think of is a Russian bear trying to ride a bike. <laughs> well, we can do. I escaped from the circus. I'm gonna get you. Uh, uh. <laughs> Is it on a moped? No, that's a Harley. <laughs> it don't look like it. You're looking at him through a scope, like fifty feet away. That looks like a little tiny bike. <laughs> no, that's just a really big dude. All right, I filled all those in. Okay. All those are filled in. We've corrected the front of the sheet. We have your health levels. We have your skills. Uh, the rest of it, as far as it goes, like the character info, we can fill out last. Um, house history, obviously, you can kind of just write in a synopsis of what your character is all about in the house history in terms of what your pack is about and which house you're trying to, you know, what house you're after and what house you'd like to be a part of, that kind of stuff. Um, okay. We still have the five freebie points left over because we wanted to look at powers. Wanted to get the rest of this stuff built in. Da. <laughs> uh, where did I put you? There we go. This is like, I want to almost say, like, think anti paladin. In a sense. You're basically sense, the good, yeah. you're like the good guy barbarian fanatic paladin, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Right. I really like that that art that you guys got on the disadvantage page. Oh yeah. Where the dude's wearing the glasses and he's plugged into the wall. Yeah. I really like that. That is really that is really good. Alright. So what subs uh so we have three houses. There's the houses uh, the house of dust and ash. There is where's the other one? House of the Anathema the and then there's one House more, whereas House Heavenly, Heavenly Moon. Moon. Yeah, I always miss it because it's not. I when I scroll, I go too fast. There it is. 
Yeah. Oh, and I, I figured out the Sumerian for the House of Anathema because Anathema is Greek, so I had to be a little bit creative. So you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, where did the Greeks get it from? Um, okay. So House of Dust and Ash, I mean, if I were to... Bill just disappeared. Um, Inter- the... the internet attack. <laughs> welcome back, man. Seriously, I have no idea what I was saying and what you caught, but anyway. So the House of Dust and Ash is kind of what, you know, werewolves aspire to be in general. That's your, I'm a werewolf house, <laughs> if I was going to put it in super basic terms. Yeah, it's, um, and it's the Dust and Ash because they were the ones who, you know, used the proverbial knife. But they're still the nobles. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, you're good. Uh, that's the that's the additional part. So they have the House of Dust and Ash has powers, as an example. Uh, the Fog of War, uh, you know, with the Sacred Ashes, you can create a powerful cloud of obscuring particles that makes it difficult for uh, uh, to see or smell anything of note. The effect is temporary but can offer a potent advantage for escape or stealth. So, like, if you had ash on you, you could literally disperse it and it creates basically that pluming cloud that allows you to get out or obscure visibility or give you advantage that kind of shit um it's the batman in a sense it's more like ninja vanish but if you're a gigantic scary ass werewolf um ooh, death frenzy that might be kind of appealing to you it's a natural frenzy of battle you crave more the blood of your enemy is the fuel that burns to inspire the engine of combat summoning the might of the wolf of end man, such as your ferocity, calling you to strike to kill as fast and as ruthlessly as possible. Um, I mean. More lethal. What's the exact? Okay. So basically, that stacks damage to Clon Fang. Okay, yeah. So you get a bonus to your damage with this, it just pumps your damage up, makes your DPS bigger. And it increases with every single rank. So you bite somebody, get blood in your mouth, you're like, okay, it's on, bitch. And then you just go harder. <laughs> yep, I couldn't hear you. Say again. I was like level two berserk. I had my mute, mic muted. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like a level two berserk. The, the only difference is that you get none of the deficits with this. Your right. berserk would tack into it. Because this is the damage part of it, and the Berserk gives you the to hit, and then, yeah. These two would go together in a crazy way. You're just... Yeah. <laughs> That's... Dumb synergy. <laughs> That's like... It fits your character, though. It kind of does. Wow. That's... You okay, could also I'm... grow one-foot-long freaking talons. One foot... Wow, that's yeah. like quite a talent. Yeah, it'd be like this, but you're also huge, so... <laughs> I mean, your talons naturally would be that, so it's like a two-foot talon. Just... Well, so, like, a werewolf's, like, freaking claws are like this, but they would extend out to a foot. Sacred allure. <laughs> I wonder if there is more, uh... So that was, are those both House of Ash? House those are both Dust and Ash, Ash, yep. Okay. What about the uh, the moon one? I'm looking at what spiritual thing. Because I do the spiritual guidance thing, so I could tie into that spot too. Yep. Uh, there's something called Storm Pulse, which allows you to knock out uh, a cybernetic devices. You have Grace of the Moon, which is become intangible for a time, equal to uh, duration one, two, five rounds. Okay, yeah. So you basically become intangible for like three seconds, but you can, if you beef it up, you can become intangible for 15 seconds total. Like you just become completely and utterly unhittable. Like a until, yeah, basically you travel through things and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Spirit Regalia. This one is gain the following bonuses. You have Essence 6 versus Magic gain plus one per rank. Ooh. Let's 
It's going to be plus one die, because that is... Uh, okay. Um, oh, withering Ferocity. Oh. Oh. Um, if you have Withering Ferocity, your claws and bites do withering damage. They just do withering damage. So in other words, if you encounter vampire, demon, doesn't matter what the supernatural being is, you shred them apart doing withering damage with that attack. Is that all the time, or is that just... It's when you activate it. You have to use SFR okay. to... Uh, basically to activate that power. And it lasts for uh, D4 rounds, plus ranks. So if you had, like, a rank 3... You'd roll a D4 plus 3, and that's how many rounds you could have that power active and, you know, chewing something up. Luna's Shadow. Create a simulacrum of yourself that can act, move, and be perceived as you entirely. It has a mind oh, of its own. Is a... Huh? That would be scary. To create a duplicate of yourself. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have fear uh, or a mind being dissolved. Uh, yeah, illusion takes damage. It appears to be a pale, luminous mist. Yeah, so if it takes damage or anything, it doesn't hurt anything else, but it literally just it acts and behaves exactly as you would and has a mind of its own. But if it gets disrupted, um, and it, it'll just kind of turn into mist. That's all that happens. But you can literally fake somebody out. It's like a magical hologram. It lasts for one minute per rank, I believe. Yeah. So what is this uh, I'm reading here? Neither eldest nor wisest of father's wolf children destroyer led his brothers and sisters to the in the hunt by the virtue of his terrible strength. Hmm? Bill? <laughs> Wait, where? What? What's he referring to? I'm referring, I'm in the character building werewolf stuff. I'm looking down. I think it's under Iron Masters? Patron? Maybe? Or. Yeah, so that's changing. Oh, okay. um, and the reason uh, those, those subsets are changing is because they're too similar to another system. Or. Or no, no. I was thinking I was looking at the. I'm looking at. Hun, uh, the hunter, maybe hunter wolf. Yeah, that stuff is is going away. The hunter okay. wolf, the battle wolf, all that, is, getting completely washed out. And okay, and that's so, for, and that's for, other purposes. Uh, okay. that makes sense. Uh, one other thing. Roll a roll two d four for me. All right, I'll roll a d one d four twice. That'll do. Look for another die. Two and four, six. Okay, so four, you have two and ten. Four. Yeah, you have ten SFR as your base SFR on your sheet. That's on the uh, werewolf page with all the house history and powers. It's at the yeah. top middle. All right, I got that in there. All right, rate of use is three. Okay. Let's, uh, what house is the withering one? That's the house of the Heavenly Moon. And that is, what is that one, Bill? Oh, House Heavenly of Heavenly Moon. Moon. Uh, so the House of Heavenly Moon, they were the, they're the Warborn. So essentially, those are the ones that are become werewolves through bites. But you can still possess the power of that great house by natural birth. That's not. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> they are traditionally yeah. of that ilk. Yeah, so they're traditionally of that ilk. So there's some, there's some rewrites going on. So. The essentially the house of the heavenly moon, they were the aspects of the dreaming city's court that were tricked to go away or to stand aside, while the more nobler ones dispatched with 
uh, Father Wolf. It was the House of the Anathema that tricked the House of Dust and Ash to do the act, but Mother, you know, Mother Luna just basically blamed everybody and then cursed them. So they're not cursed with rage. They're cursed with, you're going to fulfill your duty out of guilt, and you won't know why. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 relying it's relying on um, a lot of concepts that happen within kind of that region with regards to the scapegoat. You have to cast somebody out to get rid of the sin. Seem familiar? It's a common yeah. it's a common theme, and it comes from Sumeria all the way up. The other thing is it's the it's the dichotomy between you know inherited guilt through genetic guilt or cultural you know how does that blend together because ultimately what it kind of comes down to is the you know the nature of the curse let me get into that the curse is the werewolf yeah itself, right yeah so basically her grief shattered the dreamy city both literally and figuratively like the city just done but it also cursed all the various houses because she she was mad she couldn't distinguish between who was the right cause if so then the house of anathema would have been targeted outright because it was right. the second son versus the first son that rivalry caused this whole conflict to begin with and realistically, the first son's actually the house of the heavenly moon. The house of dust and ash, the ones who killed the knife, they're, that's a negative connotation, dust and ash. They're still right. those nobles, those priests, those prophets, those battle lords and generals. The house of the heavenly moon, those are your shamans, your mages. Still court, it's court nobles. So it's a hierarchical structure, and that hierarchical structure has carried over as well. So think of them as, I mean, Scott put it this way, it's basically they're supernatural cops. They always have been. Right. That's how I like to be. Let's go that direction. Mm -hmm. So, we're so you're going to of... take Withering Ferocity? Yeah. Okay. That'll be the last of your freebie points. What did you said? House of Heavenly Moon? House of the Heavenly Moon, yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so DL put House of Heavenly Moon are Warborn and Peaceborn. And House of Dust and Ash are pure Peaceborn. Yep. Come in, I'm in my office. Does the troll light turn off? Not the heat lamp, but the other. And D sent, and D sent, uh anathema is Greek. It really, it really kind of comes down to cursed. Yeah, so it does. I, That's fine. I went, I went down into to get the get it the thematic theme going on. So it's House of Anathema, the bit, Izuru. So Izuru is the Sumerian for curse. Mm -hmm. So it's it's bit house Izuru curse, uh, Ahuma Ahatu. So, House of Cursed Brother and Sister. Okay, that makes sense. Does that, does that sound good? Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot of duality that we got going yep. on. So, let me put that, that whole concept in here of that they don't really... Ident they identify where the houses, but they don't know what the houses are. With houses. Historically. Oh, crap, I need a... He still wanted me to message him. There we go. I'm gonna let him. I'm letting uh, Johnny know about 9 a.m. tomorrow Pacific Standard Time. Okay. So, so Deke, just looking at something here. Uh, predatory senses is uh, plus two to awareness. Should I add mm. that to the skill? Uh, in this case, it's contextual once again, because I could say, if I say awareness or whatever, I think mean, you're like, do, if, like using eyes, ears, or scent, then you can apply that bonus. But if it's something else like you're sensing like something by taste, like an awareness, like something enters your mouth or anything else like that, 
You can definitely add it if it's easier, but it is more, it is contextual. It just is, you know, five fifths of your overall sensory activity. Do what is easiest for you is what I mean. What is IP? That's improvement points. Basically the same thing that experience used to be for D&D 2nd Edition. Okay. You know, you get it, you spend it. That's, in this case, experience is, you know, and D&D doesn't get spent, but you spend it in this. Is there a house leader I should put down? Or is that blank for now? And pack mates? Well, in this case, it'll probably be your pack leader. The house, the house leader, that'll be developed at some point. It's not there yet. There is the big or bad nasty. I mean, he does exist. I, I could be pack less as well. I'm, I, I. Yeah, that's true. Makes sense in a way. Mhm. Mm well, you're technically packless because remember you were saying that you were like, oh yeah, I fucked up and they kicked me out. <laughs> right. Okay, so it's house leader yet to be determined. Pack leaders and then pack members. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. To be determined. And then, of course, the soulless one is the big nasty. It's their version of Cain. Right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. And no, we're not making it a red wolf because I'm not going to. I'm not going to perpetuate the ginger hate. <laughs> Who's your big nasty werewolf? Is a red werewolf, and he called it the soulless one. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to say something, <laughs> right? So is he just gonna uh, be gray without huh? color? Soulless. Oh, yours. Yeah, gray. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So what else do we need to put in here? Well, let's see. We'll cover it from top to bottom. We got stats, we got your character info, which sounds like you just did. Your combat skills are added up front for easy access. The only thing we don't have is, like, weapons. Like, if you have a knife, a gun, or any of that other stuff, do you even plan on using any of that stuff? No, I just wanted to strictly be... No All weapons. good. Okay, and Other then defense, whatever, the same be. thing. Yeah, the same thing as, like, armor. Probably not going to be wearing any of that. Because it nope. will rip right off your person whenever you transform, and you're not really in control of that. Given the fact that you're like all berserkered out, cats are getting into my stuff. Um, all right, skills—they've been copied in, and then all your werewolf stuff, like house, the leader, the SFR, all of your updates with that, including a power that you have, your advantages, disadvantages. I guess it's just gear. Anything you might be carrying on your person, like standard street clothes. Uh, you'll have your comm link and monocle, smart brace, anything that might be good. Of course, you'll have to order an XL because, good God, you're fucking big. <laughs> I'll have to go to the big and tall store. Yeah, big and tall. What's this, uh, oh, I noticed this thing here, uh, let's see, form, natural weapons, claws, eight plus body. Yeah, you can put that into your weapons attacks at the first page. Is that what? What would I? I thought so eight. Plus Fangs body. with ten what plus body. So, what's that? It says eight plus body. Yeah. So your body is eleven. Or oh, excuse me, your body is going to be. Uh, what's your body as a werewolf? Uh, fifteen. All right. So, oh Jesus fuck. All right. So, that means that your your skill is uh, probably going to be martial art. I'm assuming. Because I would say okay. street fighting is your martial art. That's what I picked anyway whenever I was like identifying what it was. Okay. Um, but you would just say like MA, you just say like MA1 or whatever. Um, that's for the skill. Your mod, that doesn't have a mod. Speed refers to how many times you can hit with that at this point. You only have a speed of one. You can ignore shots. Um, damage is 23. Shit, Like, that's just stupid. Okay, so, where, where, it, where it's a skill, I put in 18, because obviously I'd be... Yeah. Modifier 0, you said? Yeah. Speed 1, shots... 
No. That's null. Yeah. Your damage is 23. Okay. There's a part of me that wants to nerf this because of how powerful this retreat level. But there's the other part of me that says, nah, fuck it. Well, they do have a major vulnerability. Like, if anybody uses silver, silver. at all, I it's mean, it, like I said, he, yeah, silver, it ignores all of his natural armor, period. It just goes and goes right through. If he were hit with a regular, like, a regular weapon using silver rounds and just hit with it, he's not regenerating that at all. Yeah. It heals at the same pace that a human heals. That's what withering damage is. Silver is bad fucking business. That'll stop you dead in your tracks. All your badassery goes right out the window. So, Bangs is 10 plus body. Is... Yeah. So that's, uh, everything that I just said. 25. Except for it's 25 damage. <laughs> It says with AP2. What's AP? Uh, forget the AP2. I th that part got modified again. So AP is for, for whatever says AP, you can just say armor piercing. Yeah, what AP does now is it does five damage no matter what through whatever armor they're wearing. Oh, okay. So I can put that in a special. Correct. That's my age. Uh, 37. Build. What's the proper word for build? Hulk smash? Build? Well, in this case, like, your build in this case might actually be massive, would be the word I'd use to describe it. Because it's, it's, it's usually like slim, athletic, whatever. You know what I mean? The appearance, you get to go like 5'7", five, 5'10", five, in your case, you're like 8 foot 5'. Or whatever the fuck height you are, it's gonna be like anywhere between like eight, like like seven, like six foot eight to like eight foot five, somewhere in that range is where you're gonna be whenever you're like just screwing around. So I'm gonna roll a, I'm gonna roll a D four, uh huh, plus five, and then inches of a D twelve. For height. Yeah. Inches are a D12. Uh-huh. Okay, so 9 feet, 10 inches. Yeah, that's that gigantic. No. I mean, you'll stand the fuck out. They're, you're earning that 20%. They're going to hit me behind cover. <laughs> In other words, fucking huge. Yeah. <laughs> How big is he? There's the reason it. why I didn't. There's a good reason why I didn't put stealth in the. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, because he put stealth and it actually worked. <laughs> no, I didn't put any stealth. I would be like, there's a good reason why I didn't. Appearance, think. Paul Bunyan. Really hairy. <laughs> think Paul Bunyan. All I can think of, and he, he'll figure this out later, but you'll get this joke. Uh, so what is he going to call his wolf spirit? Babe? Oh, God. Or blue? <laughs> or blue? Babe or blue, yeah. <laughs> just, I'm just saying. Uh, all right, what else? Who's got all this stuff? I uh, like I said, gear is the only to, thing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do house history, uh, gear. I don't have anything to see off of, so we're gonna have to, I guess. Uh, well, you'll have like your street clothes, right? Um, all right. Like you'll probably have something. It's called a slate. You'll probably have a slate on you, because that'll be like how you call, communicate, do whatever. It's probably the lowest level of tech you'll probably need to just like talk to people. You probably don't even have a monocle, is my guess. Or 
Do we determine credits? How do you determine credits? Well, in that case, right now, as far as starting credits, you're not poor and you're not rich, so just roll like 3d6 and I'll tell you what. Yeah, 3d6 times 100. 4. It's uh, 3D, 3d4 times 100. 3d4 times 100? Yeah. It's um, in the CRV stuff. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. realize I wrote that in. 4. four. I think it's in 2. Standard All right, human. so yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. And times a hundred. That would be a thousand. So that's a that's how much you've got in terms of like credits and petty cash. Pretty close, late. I'm I'm really really debating on the wood axe. <laughs> it's not like you couldn't have that to be so easy to find. You'd probably break the bitch on anybody you've used it against. A fire a fireman's axe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not speaking from my ass. Yes, it's the 3D4. Sorry. Cool. I remembered. Basically. Yeah, it's. I was uh, very close. I just had the wrong die type. It's in the synergy system under character generation. Yeah, you're good. 3D4 times 100. Uh, and then world coming down 5D10 times 100. Jesus. Yeah, because that's just the petty cash, not even the whatever standard right. check or whatever you got yeah it's just what you start what's your, with what's your job well i think his job is probably running around doing like open contracts and sh just shitting on people for money <laughs> that's kind of what i see him doing oh is there a job in here well no like it's that's all narrative stuff like are you the kind oh, of guy yeah. that like runs around doing contract work getting bounties like What's your jam? No, my jam is just hunting the, uh, the bad people. Well, you can earn money doing that. Yeah, it could be like the Webworld version of... What's that one guy? Constantine. Well, I mean, essentially, they're just the... Right? So, the first, they were kind of like <laughs> the, uh... Because I, I made fun of this with a GIF, right? So they were the they were the uh, the judges of Mega City. I'm the law. <laughs> yeah, then, I know. Well, that did, that, they just end up pissing everybody off, so that didn't really work. So now they're just the Winchesters. Jesus. Yeah. All right. I I kind of thank you for letting me kind of add a little bit to that because that allowed me to flush out what I was gonna I'm gonna start writing on. Yeah. So. I have what I need for the modern setting for werewolves. And then I was able to change the house of math and make that a little bit on that yeah. side. Yeah. I still think okay. there's some, some concepts I'm going to explore a little bit more in, but mm -hmm. I have so, I have a lot better starting ground than where I was at. Yeah. That's a so good thing. In, yeah. Cause that's a, Dude, it pissed me off so much. I like, I got so involved with the werewolf, I mean, the the vampire stuff, and made it so like <laughs> this, because there was so much shit we found. We watched, mm -hmm. we watched the video. Yeah. Developed the the different bloodlines from the historical accounts. Mm hmm. You made their powers very similar to those historical accounts based off of that those actual yeah. historical accounts. You could take a look at the ancient origins of vampirism and have a shit ton of stuff and then i just go to werewolf stuff <laughs> go to white wolf <laughs> that's not what i want to do <laughs> well you might you know the funny thing is i think white wolf has a bibliography you could probably check out you'd have to do it the old-fashioned way which is like go into white wolf yeah. check their bibliography and check their references to see where they got their stuff from but I like I like the direction that we're going. We're taking away we're taking away the concept of the phases of the moon, which takes yeah. it away from the system entirely. Yeah. Because each house was based off a of phase of the moon. Period. You're creating a nebulous uh, hierarchical structure based off of essentially political noble houses mm -hmm. and courtiers in a city. Yep. The well, reflection. and it's got a lot more. 
It's got a lot more like it's a cultural thing, not a you're fixed in this kind of sp sort of supernatural cycle thing. Mm -hmm. And it took the fucking rage out. It, I hated rage. I, I thought it yeah. was a, I, I, I understood it as a mechanic, but I never liked it because to me, werewolves are. Yeah, yeah, they can be rage, but that's only because the rage is a direct conflict between that which is animal and that which is human and neither understanding the other and as a direct result madness ensues and it's just yeah. blind rage so what this does is it just it's just like look you're a gigantic terrifying fucking thing as a human being playing this creature you're gonna let your instincts fly yeah yep Oh, well, I think that was good. So we got a. I think it was we're, too. Sh Shroud's yeah. character. Oh my god. I I clearly need to actually like wind back on the werewolf a bit. There's a, there's. It's hard for me to go like yeah, it's street level. It's gonna be a struggle for you. I'm like, no, it's not. He can literally charge through walls and do all kinds of like. I gotta Throw fucking a fix dishwasher. that shit. <laughs> yeah, you know. Well, I mean, how, how do we how do we change the mechanics though? Uh, I don't have to change any of the mechanics on like the SFR uses is where it's supposed to be because I was looking at that and I'm like, okay, at least I got that right. But so, um, I mean, because the SFR cap makes where you had it makes sense. Yeah, I'm not changing and, any of that. the The powers and the the SFR what <laughs> what'll have to change is uh, the amount of boost. Uh, let's see here. It's talking about the focus stats, right? Mm -hmm. They get plus two successes versus disease. No problem. Immune to poison. No problem. Regeneration one. Yep. No problem. The natural armor of five plus body. Holy fuck. I'm just going to make that natural armor five. Boop. Just going to erase the body out of it and just make it five. Because at, at street level, having a 20... <laughs> Having 20 natural armor is like you're just wearing a medium suit of armor all the time. The only thing that cuts through that is the silver, which is extremely hard to manage. Now, but he could get you hit. Want the, that's where you want the thick skin to kind of come into play. Yeah. Like, he, he doesn't wants... need any of that, but he bounced it up using thick skin. Otherwise, he would have had like a 15, uh, if I'm not mistaken. It was a 15 or 16. It was crazy. It was already oh, high. That... Yeah, my yeah, you know, Arads is fourteen. And yeah. you told me that was insane. It is so. insane. You felt how insane it was. You're like boop, 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 whatever. Like it's just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Spank, spank, spank. <laughs> yeah. It's it, unless somebody's got armor piercing, which would still it still helps. Armor piercing means that they get five damage through, right? You know, mm. but it's only five. Just five. So if he takes a barrage of five shots, he'll take 15 damage which is you know that's good okay mm -hmm. right but he goes regenerate 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 I was like, which is which is why i like how you took ap as a stock five or yeah well and that was what's weird is that scott suggested it. i'm like Ugh, that's what i had originally but it's like you know what i'll give it a try and then i tried it out i tried it out with my kids <laughs> when mm -hmm. they were here uh yeah i accidentally killed uh nigh twice because of the AP rules. And she's playing a werewolf. So I was like, oh. Well that, wow. <laughs> now, did she have, did she have the max, like, thick skin that these two characters have? Or? She's got the, she does have, now she was built using this system. So, okay. it's, well, it's maybe, one of those things maybe, where. Maybe with armor penetration, the fact that you were able to kill twice at that level. Do, you, yeah. do we really need to remove the body? We just need to check it and find out how it's going. The AP rules are really important because armor is super strong, right? Like, yeah. armor's a very strong element of the combat system. With that in play, it makes it very hard to, to do damage, which is the point. But there's an answer to that, which is the armor piercing, right? And I was thinking about it, it's like, it would be cool to have things that did, like, stacked with AP... Like, having AP5 is great, but let's say you wanted to do something like, I have, uh, I don't remember what the hell I called them. They're in my, 
they're in my equipment or whatever. But um, the uh, the there are rocket propelled crossbow bolts, which is hilarious to me because you just, you shoot it like normal, so you go poop like that, and it gets maybe about six seven feet away from its point of origin, and then the rocket propellant kicks off. And it was just like, does that seem stupid? It was like, no, that seems awesome. Like, how crazy would it be to, like, launch a crossbow and just be like, like that and just have it have this extra penetration? Like, Bolter. Right? Why is it armor penetration? Because it becomes a fucking rocket. (laughs) Well, it's also like a 70 caliber. But... Like, so these bolts are, you know, they're going to be pretty thick, right? Because they've got all that extra. Mm-hmm. But that extra armor piercing could be like, you know, the armor AP is five at the flat point, right? But if I were like to be like AP plus three, or AP plus four, it would just add on. It would stack, making that but, armor penetration damage even heavier. But but take it from the standpoint of a werewolf's armor, though. If we take yeah. out the body and make it a flat five. Mm-hmm. then it's an automatic AP just blast the shit out of them anyway. Right. Like I said, if they take a barrage, like, here's a couple of things. Here's a couple of things that I took note of when it came to, um, like, <laughs> kids, dude. Um, the, the way that, the, the way that it works with, uh, the number of shots. So, if you get hit once, that's five damage, right? But if you're someone's doing the aim shot, they get their accuracy bonus attached to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but if they do a barrage, like if they do a burst, like if they hit with something like that and they're using AP ammunition, then it's going to hit like maybe two to three times depending on where that goes. Mm-hmm. And that means that's 10 to 15 damage if you make that actual hit, Right. You know, cover is only going to protect you so hard. So, okay, that makes sense when we, if we just make the werewolf armor straight five, then three rounds, AP five, uh, like the AP's five, right? Mm -hmm. Five damage. AP is just straight. Then what would happen is the the natural armor would soak up one of those rounds. And then. Well, the way the AP works concurrently with how this goes ap means that if you get hit whatever your armor is doesn't matter what it is you could have 50 armor right you're running around on a power arm like the only time i would say that set, that this doesn't apply is if you're running around in a mech and somebody's using ap and it just hits the system you're not going to get damaged from that but if you're in a powered armor suit right it's conformant to your body somebody takes an ap round of some kind they hit you with that the damage is going to occur it may not be the bullet but maybe something happens on the inside of that powered armor suit where you take five regardless that's Mm -hmm. the idea of the ap just kind of punching through mechanically so it just goes like that it just it gives it gives danger and threat and damage the the thing about ap also is that it damages the armor also so when you're kind of going around you take the five damage to yourself the integrity of your armor is also at risk because it's taking damage. Okay. So the more the AP rounds it takes, the less the less capable of stopping all of it becomes. Okay. I think I think the word I might hear in confusion was the fact that if she was used she's a werewolf using the old mechanic and yet the AP mechanic that you have now is just shredding that just sh- killed her twice. If right. you reduce that, then basically dead character. Right. Well, so maybe so keep the, the arm difference the being the, the difference being is that werewolves can regenerate. Like that's, that's key point. Okay, like she so was able werewolves. Okay. So the werewolves regenerating. Okay. Right. I guess I'd have so, to see it in action. I mean, that's yeah. I think uh, that's I, my only confusion. Like I said, the way that the way that Scott was talking about how AP would work in this case, mm-hmm. he says like, let's just say that AP does a flat amount of damage. It bleeds through whatever that damage value is. He's like, what about five? I was like, sure, five. And so it was like, okay. 
So if AP always does five damage with what you're doing, be that a stab, thrust, or shot with a gun, whatever it is that's going on, five damage gets through. Now, of course, to me, I'm sitting there going, like, not everything should be able to just... Like, if I'm taking a knife to a powered armor suit and I say, it's got AP, I'm like, there has to be something for that. Because to me, it doesn't make sense that a powered armor suit would take a somebody who's, like, five body with a, you know, an eight knife and be like, 13 damage! And they've got, like, 30-something armor. It'd be like, pink! And I'm like, no, I'm sorry. So it's like, basically, I'm going to say it's no AP attached to that unless it's got something really high-powered behind it. I'll just probably leave that alone and basically take that out of there. You know what I mean? Okay. So it's going to be... So AP is going to be specialized, meaning that you have all extra oomph behind it, which is why bullets will get AP, and specialized weapons, like magical weapons and things like that, will get AP, um, because they basically break the armor system a little bit. It's well says the werewolves sentient weapons which is withering and ap right yeah it's which basically they terrifying yeah okay it's fucking nuts now, now that makes the werewolves sentient blades so much more scary yeah okay gotcha yeah so it's one of those things where it's just sort of like yeah i mean if you swing and hit somebody and they're wearing armor or whatever you'll do five damage if they're supernatural and it does withering also they can't regenerate that so if it's like a vampire you're like like that and it gets like five damage it's like guess what you can't heal that with your sfr you're not going to be able to pop that over sorry which is why the wolves back in the day were so damn dangerous yep okay now it's it's starting to it's starting to click okay gotcha yeah and that's this is the broad scope like ap works like this system wide right but mm -hmm. it's important to have the ap because like i said uh like right now it seems kind of like crazy that he's got a natural armor of 20 but i'm also kind of going like ah ha 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 but this is when we're dealing with you know standard stuff that isn't that it that doesn't have the ap a part of it plied right or or the withering Right, yeah. Without the withering, the AP can slow them down. And the thing about that is that with like a werewolf in particular, and I tried this out when I was playing with my 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 kids. She got hit with a turret. A lot of <laughs> she got hit a lot by a no turret. No idea what that's like, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> she got hit by a turret, and it took her down to zero exactly. And then she got to roll her body essence check, and I, and she was able to bounce back from it because her regeneration kicked in before. Her, you know, ser like true death started, right? Um, okay, yeah, it's it's like playing it's like playing a zealot in Dark Tide with uh, Chase and the Wicked. Yeah, it's kind of like that. The, the she whole, was able to whole, use no, her sorry, Holy Revenant skill because mm -hmm. they gets to zero health. As long as you're doing da as much damage as you can, you heal up that damage. In this case, right. it's the yeah. What would have stopped okay. that from happening is that if those turrets were loaded up with silver, I would not have given her a body check. It just would have been like, oh, you hit zero, you're dead. Yeah. They would just been like, Pfft, like that. She wouldn't have had the opportunity to get out of it. That's yeah. the difference between AP and withering and just AP. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm slowly getting it. I'm sorry. I'm a little slow sometimes. <laughs> it's all good. It's actually a good point to actually end my recording here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. All right. This is good and cool beans.